Hola, hoy estamos en Barcelona. Ooh. Right now we're going to go to lunch. And then after lunch, we're going to La Sagrada Familia. After, we're just gonna be touristy sightseeing. See you at lunch. We are currently at La Cerveceria Catalana and we're gonna try and get less. We just finished eating lunch. We had tapas. It was so yummy. The churros, perfect way to end the meal. I'm so full in the best way. So now we're walking to La Sagrada Familia and we have a tour there at 2.15. And then after that, we're gonna figure out what to do from there. Okay, we just went through security. This is what it looks like. It's huge. Okay, we made it inside La Sagrada Familia and it's so colorful in here. It's way more colorful than I thought it would be. On both ends, there's one of these like stained glass pieces. And then you look down the middle. Doing a tour of the town. How is it called? Torre Natividad. Torre Natividad. Torre Natividad. So we gotta go up a spiral and then down a spiral. There's the city. Oh my god! So beautiful. Wow, that's so pretty. Very narrow tower. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Wow. <gasps> oh my god, that's so scary. Look at that. Guys, look at the staircase. It's giving Fibonacci sequence. Whoa, this is crazy. Look how far down I watch where you're going. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> my hands are sweating. It goes so far down. I'm so scared to drop my phone. So much stairs. We've been walking downstairs for like 30 minutes. This is supposed to be a 10 minute tour. Oh. What? Oh. You can't even see the bottom. Wow. Wish us luck. We made it out of the spiral staircase and now we're at the back of the cathedral. There's Jesus on the cross. Yeah, on the cross. Basically like the outside sculptures of this building are supposed to tell the story of the Bible in stone. I don't know much about the Bible. Not Christian. So now we're in the basement of the cathedral and it's basically like a museum with like a little gift shop telling you about like the construction and the art and all of that. But it's not even done being built yet. But yeah, it's been being built since the 1800s. So how, how many centuries is that? Two, three generations. Three gener- no, five generations. He said five, didn't he? Well, whatever 200 years is. Yeah, that's a long time. But now we're leaving and we're gonna find a cafe and sit and drink for a little bit and then go back to the hotel and figure out where we're going from there. Do you guys hear the bells? What time is it, Thung? Four. Oh, they're ringing because it's four o'clock. Okay, so. It's been a week of traveling and we have some laundry to do, but our hotel's laundry service is way too expensive. So we're gonna go to a Spanish laundromat 
and try to do laundry in Spain. So we'll see how it goes. We have all of our laundry bags. This is mine. Mine says not basic. That's Dung's. Oh, one of, I think they're both Dung's. And that's Mans. Here we go walking to the laundromat in Spanish. Laundromat is lavanderia. But I think maybe they call it something different in Spain because when I asked one of the workers at a store, he was confused and didn't understand what I was saying. We are here sitting outside the laundromat waiting. We have our portable fan. This is the laundromat that we went to. I guess here in Spain, remember earlier I was telling you they're not called lavanderias, they're called bugaderias here. So I guess that's their name. This is our laundry down here. We didn't know which option to press, so we kind of just looked at all the other machines. And they did A with temperature water, so I'm guessing that's what we're supposed to do. We got 20 minutes left, but this place closes at 9.30, and it's 9 right now, so I don't know if we'll have time to dry, use a dryer. Hopefully we will. I don't know, we'll see. Which is what? I forgot to show you guys. Okay, so... The way that we started it, they have this little machine here and you go here and you select I want to wash or I want to dry and then you can either buy a card or pay with that card or you pay with coins or cash and then it gives you a receipt and then if you don't have detergent, they have detergent here and a vending machine for you. Okay, while we're doing the laundry, we're going to grab a couple snacks just while we're waiting because it's going to be like at least an hour and I just wanted to show you some of the Spanish snacks that they have. So here they have like Doritos, plantain chips, Cheetos. They have like pretty solid snack choices. Okay, so we just finished with the washer, it's all done. So now we're gonna load things over to the dryer, which is called um, La Secadora. The dryer is pretty big. Wow. She's never this helpful at home, guys. I don't live at home. <laughs> so now we close it. And then we go over here. And we press the deseo secar, which means I want to dry. And we look. Our machine number is number one. So we go over here, press number one. And then press confirm. And now it says you have to pay. So we put in our $10. And it should give us change, too, but... Is it this way? Where's my change? Okay. So there's the change it's giving you. And then here we gotta figure out what temperatures Stop. to choose. So medium or high temperature? We want medium. Okay, now you press start. And so 30 minutes. And it'll be done. Yay! So we're trying the things we got from the store. I got a water, but we're trying this coconut juice too. Yeah, agua de coco. It's really good. I'm I'm very picky with my coconut juice. Like, I hate most coconut juice. There's only one brand of coconut juice that I'm willing to drink. This just got added to the list. It's that good. Yum, that's so good. So now let's try these teriyaki flavored Takis. This is what they look like. I don't know if you can see, but they're like yellow. They smell like regular Takis. Let's try it. Mmm. These are so good. Oh. Wait, they have a weird curry aftertaste. Mm. The initial bite is really good. But like when you breathe, you taste curry. Which is weird. I'm not mad. I'm a little disappointed, but I'll eat them. That is not teriyaki. It's not teriyaki. No. Yeah, it's not teriyaki. It tastes like... Is it cumin in there? Yeah, see there's a curry flavor. Very interesting. Okay, so the dryer finished in only 30 minutes. It was so quick. So now we're just folding our clothes. Um, some of Thung's clothes were still a little wet, but that's just because his clothes are thicker than anyone else's. So we're gonna throw those in for a few more minutes. But other than that, I'd say this was pretty successful. <laughs> so we went to uh, the first restaurant, it was called La Selva. 
and it was beautiful. It was so gorgeous. Has so many good reviews, but they were full. They don't have any tables for us at all. We couldn't even wait. No wait list. No tables available. So we went instead here to Araceria Gaudi. Gracias. I didn't mean to order that much, but oh well. <laughs> okay, apparently I ordered a picture. <laughs> oh, sangria. Um, Dama ordered a ribeye. I ordered spaghetti. How's your pina colada? Perfect. Good. Okay, here we go. Time to eat. Gracias. Okay, so here's Mia's mussels, some fries, calamari, bread and tomato, and steak, and uh, spaghetti bolognese. And sangria. <laughs> Try it. It's so good. It's yeah. So yummy, yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. I want. Can you pour some for me? You forgot about me. You know what this tastes like? What? This tastes like the cider that we got with no. a little bit of wine and no really? carbonation. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good, right? With with the more wine. Yeah, with, with more wine. wine. Yeah. Let's try these mussels. <laughs> oh, I mean calamari. Okay, the fries. Fries. Mm. I feel they're pretty good. Spaghetti. Mm. Perfect. How's the steak tongue? Good? Huh? Okay, trying the steak. Mm. Oh, it's juicy. It's super juicy. It's good. I'm surprised the steak looks weird, but it tastes bomb. Okay, we're finishing up with dinner, and I would definitely say that this is the best sangria that I will ever have. I've actually only had sangria once before, and I didn't like it. It was too, like, the flavor of wine was too strong, and I don't like red wine, but this is perfect. I don't think I'll ever have as good of sangria as here ever again.